Hello, I have on my Trust Data Not Lore shirt today. This is one of my favorites, actually, because you see it's data and it's lore. I, I was at the dollar store, this was months ago, and a guy stopped me. He was like, hey man, I like your shirt. Most people don't even get it, they don't even know what that is. And I'm like, yeah man, you know, it's data and fucking his brother. Like, you get, But also, dude, it's a slap in the face to religion. He was like, what do you mean? It's like, you're supposed to trust data, not lore. And he was just like, oh, okay. Like, he was mad about it. But also, that's what it means. Like, Star Trek's a whole, it's just a gigantic metaphor for, if you really think about it, whenever religion comes up on Star Trek, they always kind of look like, well, we respect that you think that, but what the fuck? And they move on. But that's not why I'm here. Um, oh, I haven't done a video in like a day or two. It's It's been a weird couple of days as I've been trying to figure out what they want to do as far as my employment is concerned. Um, I spoke to my captain earlier this week and he was like, just hold tight. We'll take care of it. And that same day I got a call from the company asking me about my uniform size. So when I called the captain again on Thursday, he said something, he was like, they're having, they're, they're, they're doing something with uniforms. And he was like, uh, our schedule for next week, is it done yet? I want to be able to try to get you on the schedule for next week. But if not, then somebody will call off and we'll put you in there. It's just a matter of as soon as you get the uniform. Because if I had a uniform, I'm pretty sure I'd be at work. You know? So they're working on it. But also in the meantime, the unemployment that I was supposed to be getting and they hadn't given it to me in a month came through today. Which was cool. And I paid off all the bills, but in doing so, I paid off all the bills, and I paid more than I should have, like, so now my smud's at zero, which is good, but also, every little bit of extra money that I had is now just, <clears throat> sorry, dog, that's it, so I find myself, despite the fact that all our bills are paid, the phones are on, everything's gonna be fine, uh, paid Kari the money I owed him, which is always a plus. I don't like holding him up because that man worked hard for his money and I don't want to take it from him for the sake of bills, you know? So I gave him back his money. But, oh, and I also have, I have a truckload of fucking weed. Like, like it's, it's a, we have a ridiculous amount of old That's coming. That's not true at all. It's not the amounts that we do. It's, uh, it's not that, I mean, how many did you get? Um, I got, got nine, three of each. Three of each. So if you got three of each, I mean, really talking. I mean, so it's more than a week's work. Plus, not yeah. considering the this vape and then the other thing. Yeah. Then so it's, I guess it's, for us, we've got the amount of like a week and a half as opposed to everyone Enter. else. Enter. Who would probably be good for like three months. Okay, so Asian, I, wa um, fucking, for reference, I washed out both of our cartridges and what I have found. First off, this is delicious. It smells good. This is delicious. It's it, it, it tastes like fucking blueberries. It's lovely. Yeah, my, my, um, my family what I will bakes say now. Is that um, your first like hit or two mm. is that's going to be you evaporating the water that's in there from when I washed it. So, okay, so it's just so, the water. Yeah, so just be because I because I because I did notice there was like a steep change where like mm. there was no blueberry and then immediately blueberry, blueberry okay. and what that was that was blueberry, the water evaporating. Blueberry. Okay, so just know that. Okay, I wonder what So yeah, my my family vapes now. Kari ended up buying a vape pen. Not to look cool while he was walking down the street, but passively, as he's at work, he just want to be able to take a hit. And it's healthier than him smoking. And it's healthier than him smoking. And, you know, so it's like, good for him. So he ordered one and somehow got two. So he gave Asia one. So, like, and honestly, it was like, I would see him throughout the week. And he would be like, hey, you want to hit of this? And I'd say, yeah, sure. And I would take a puff. And i go, oh, man, this is okay. But I had also already had some Olam. So I was like, I don't know how much of this is just the hit and how much of this is like just the Olam still doing its thing. But it was pretty good. So we have enough to make it like we should be fine for quite a while. For quite a while. And my wife makes the excellent point of, yeah, sure, we might not have nearly as much money as we would like. But the bills are taken care of, so this will be this will be a real big deal. Like next week, when it's time for me, it's like let's schedule what we have to pay Kari back. Let's schedule the things that we have to do. Nope, we're good because we don't have to do any of those things now. So it frees up money later 
but right now it's come kind of be a struggle. So shit, but it's fine. It's fine. And then uh, Kari checked the bell and he came back with a letter from Samud and it was like, this is your last chance. If you don't pay us by the 29th, we're turning your shit off. And I got my spell journal. Oh, yeah. It's let me, much smaller than I thought it was. Let me see. Asia got her it, little spell it'll, journal. It'll fit in my box. I can start recording my spells in there. and then The La Bruja like, Diaries. To um, Latin. And I think I'm going to incorporate some Filipino, but I'm going to leave that mostly to her. I think I'm going to stick with Latin as my language, but I still like the, the I Filipino. Think, I, think, I think Filipino is a beautiful language. Oh, and it is. It's, it's, it sounds Except to me... you don't hear often. At least out here, you don't. You don't. Like, don't, don't quote me, because I don't know, but it seems, it almost seems as elegant as, say, a Latin, but it's not a dead language. People right. still use Filipino. Latin, nobody uses Latin See, no more. Unless it's just Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think that's why I'm sticking with Latin, mostly because it's not... It When you hear Latin, you assume either creepy shit is happening or something really cool. And it's like... It's, yeah. it's just a dead language you don't hear anymore. So it sounds ancient and it sounds yeah. more powerful. It, it definitely comes with... It comes with the baggage of this is Latin. This is what people use Latin it, for. It come. It slides off the tongue differently than other languages. I think you you mostly hear it in spell casting and you know things that are more mystical. Yeah. Um, and I think that's because it's so ancient. And I, I like very old things. And I like things that I don't hear people just saying a lot. So if I yeah. use a word, it's like, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's Latin. Yeah, nobody speaks Latin. I would be that person. I would take a class on Latin. Like, I just... You know, I regret now. You did, didn't you? I did. I took Latin in high school. Yeah, and it didn't help with Latin. And it was, it was a dead language then. And, like, I was just like, what am I ever going to use Latin? I'm never going to... I was, I was in such a fucked up place when I was in high school. I wasn't interested in learning. But thinking back now, having Latin under my belt would have been... It would have helped me quite a bit, like, during my Buffy the Vampire Slayer era. When they would be reading shit, I, but I would always think it's like I, I wonder if he even saying anything. Like, are those even words? But I would know. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize that twenty years later I would be using so much Latin in my writing. So sure, I would love to learn some Latin, but also I've got a I've got an English to Latin translator. So like, I don't really worry about shit. AKA Google. AKA Google. Um, and now we even, we even live in a world now where you, there's this little device and you can talk into it and then hold it up to the person and it translates for you and it tells the person what you want. And then they talk into the little box and then it translates it into English for you. So it's like, oh, the art of language, like we've invented the universal translator. We might not even need languages, but still Latin comes with, it comes with the additional baggage of its surrounding mystery, you know? While Spanish to me comes off as sexy, I think Spanish is just, I couldn't even say nothing in Spanish to tell you, to show you a frame of reference for how it's sexy, but Spanish is sexy. But I also feel the same way about Filipino. I think Filipino is a very beautiful language, but I don't know if I would learn it so much as that I would learn to incorporate it into shit that I'm doing, you know? But that's it. I just, I really wanted to come on and let you know where I was, future me, like, you don't remember, but you'll look back at this, and you'll go like, oh, I remember that day, just like you did the other day, you know what I'm talking about, we were sitting here, and we watched that video of us sitting in the truck, having that conversation about how much children are worth, that was such a thing for me, and going back and watching it, it's like, seeing the passion in my eyes, and how salty I was about it, brought it all back and I remembered and that's that's why I do this shit dude like for real that's at the end of the day that's what it's about being able to like I remembered having that conversation but I and I remember being salty but to have the details it's like I have the thoughts but it's not in context but having the videos puts it in context for you you felt that way here's why you felt that way so it's, it really works out. So I like dipping back into my past to see what's going on. It's always a good time. Always a good time. But yeah, I'm going to go. This is this turned into 10 minutes. Shit, my bad. Okay, we're out. Let's go.